Let's see if we can get your website on the internet without spending any money. You need a domain, website, and somewhere to host your website online. You might start by searching for free domain on Google. Let's take a look at the results. Top10.com, claim your free domain. Free domains for life. This looks promising. Most popular option, GoDaddy. Here at GoDaddy, I don't see anything about free. Let's search for a domain though. The domain is available and I can get it for a penny. Down below though, you'll see this is a three-year term. At checkout, you'll see you have to pay $43.99. That's $21.99 that we saw crossed out earlier on for year two and three and a penny for the first year. Then it'll auto renew for $65.97 every three years. If we change the term from three years to one year, you'll see you can get a domain for $11.99 for the first year then it'll renew for $21.99 per year. This is clearly not a free domain. Second option from top 10, Bluehost. You can see here, free domain for the first year with hosting started at $1.99 per month, normally $9.99 a month. So again, we see free or a discount for the initial term for both the domain, free for the first year, and then pay for the second year and beyond, and hosting $1.99 per month, then that's gonna jump up to $9.99 a month. This is not a free domain. These first options don't look great, but I promise we'll find something that'll work for what you're trying to build. For more information about everything we talk about in this video, check out the links in the description below. The third option here is Ionos. I remember there was also an ad for them in the search results. Let's go back there and see what they have to offer. Free domain name registration free with web hosting or other plans. If we scroll down, you'll see here that the domain is free for the first year. If you're paying for hosting or their AI website builder, not a free domain. The next ad, Wix. Create a website and get a free domain for one year with annual plan. Also, not a free domain. So what does the AI overview have to say about free domains? While it's generally not possible to get a truly free domain name, meaning one that you own forever with no ongoing cost, you can often get a free domain for a limited time, usually the first year when purchasing web hosting. Let's take a look at the organic search results, not paid ads, to see if we find anything different. Freenum.com. On this page, it says free and paid domains, but nowhere can you search for a domain on this page. How about here under services? Well, this is broken. You can't even search for a domain. This may have worked in the past for these top level domains, but it doesn't work anymore. Next result, Hostinger. Same as the others, first year free when paying for an annual plan. What does Reddit have to say? If free domains existed, we'd probably be able to find it on here, right? Here it says, not totally free and be careful with cheap name registrars. They try to sell you a bunch of other services. They talk about options for free subdomains. What's a subdomain? Well, a top level domain is something like .com, .co, .ai, .net, etc. If you get your own domain, it would be something like mybusiness.com, mybusiness.ai, etc. You can have subdomains at a website that you own. For example, we own thefigco.com. We can create info.thefigco.com for our landing pages or school.thefigco.com for our course platform. You can also have a subdomain on someone else's domain. For example, mybusiness.system.io or mybusiness.car.co. Are subdomains okay to use for your business or project? The website itself should work just fine, but it's a little less professional than hosting your website at your domain. If this is to show your portfolio, a school project, a one-time event, creating a website using a free subdomain is totally fine. If you have a business that's selling things, I would normally recommend getting your own domain. Many website builders offer free subdomains with their free plans. They're not gonna include 100% of the functionality that their paid plans include, but you can create a website and they'll host it for you. The one thing they want in return is they're gonna place an ad like this on your website. In some cases, you can even sell online using the free plan at a free subdomain. We recommend using website builders instead of WordPress or building a website with HTML and CSS, especially for beginners. They offer easy to use drag and drop website builders and host your website. No need to get additional hosting. A few options we like, system.io, card, Webflow, Google Sites, and Canva. Wix also offers a free plan, but the URL is gonna be a little bit longer and there are storage and bandwidth limits. To learn about the best free website builders, check out the video in the description. If you're building an app or a website using HTML, you could host it for free with GitHub Pages. If you're looking to create something more professional and want your own domain instead of a subdomain, what are your options? Well, you have a couple of options. You could build your website using a website builder, choose a paid annual plan that's gonna give you the domain for free for the first year. To choose the best website builder for your project, we have a video that'll help you decide which one to use in the description. One thing to keep in mind here is the renewal price of your domain from a website builder or hosting platform is normally gonna be quite high. 
Here's the second year price for a .com domain from a bunch of website builders and hosting providers. Before the second year, you can transfer the domain to a low cost domain registrar to save money on the renewals. Video on how to do that in the description. I personally don't wanna deal with the hassle of transferring the domain a year from now, and I may wanna pay for a website builder monthly instead of annually. Another thing to keep in mind is some of the top website builders like Wix, they may give you the domain free for the first year, but they're gonna charge you up to $15 per year for privacy protection on that domain. Basically, you have to pay them to not publicly list you as the owner of the domain, including sharing your name, address, email, and phone number. I'd rather buy a domain that has a good first year and annual renewal pricing, which also is gonna include privacy protection for free. We have a video on the best domain registrars that you'll find down below, but to save you time, I'll just give you the answer here. Our favorite domain registrar is spaceship.com. You can get a .com domain for around $10 per year. They sometimes run promotions for the first year, but as you can see here, a .com domain will cost you for the renewal $9.98 plus 20 cents for the icon fee. This is less than half of what we saw earlier on for godaddies.com renewals of $21.99 per year. I know you were hoping for something for free, but I would just purchase your domain from Spaceship and then take your time and choose the best website builder for the business you're creating and not have to deal with overpaying for your domain or having to transfer your domain a year from now to save money. If you found this video helpful and you'd like to support our channel, please use our affiliate links in the description when purchasing a domain or signing up for a website builder. We could earn a commission at no cost to you. Now, if you wanna see the best website builders, watch this video right here, and I hope to see you in another video. Bye-bye.